Does fear exist in this dojo? No sensei! Does pain exist in this dojo? No sensei! Does defeat exist in this dojo? No sensei! Strike first, strike hard, no mercy! Sir. Back in 2014, Taco Bell decided to get into the fast food breakfast game and came out with the morning edition of its namesake, the Waffle Taco. It was discontinued only a year later, but today we're bringing it back. It's time for fast food. <laughs> Righteous. Let's go, bro. Let's do it. Trevor, do you remember the waffle taco from Taco Bell? I remember it being advertised, but I don't ever remember eating it. It was really good. Well, ish. So it came out on March 27th, 2014, when Taco Bell decided to try and bite off of the game that McDonald's started with fast food breakfast. They actually got actors whose names were Ronald McDonald, and they got them to tweet in support of Taco Bell's <laughs> breakfast menu. They also produced an entire commercial where they crafted this dystopian realm in which Ronald McDonald was a dictator, and people were trying to escape his dystopian commune to the land of Taco Bell breakfast. This is a real thing. That Taco Bell had an entire production. So fake. The point is Taco Bell invested so much money into their original breakfast menu launch and the waffle taco was supposed to be their signature item, okay. but it got discontinued only about a year later in favor of the biscuit taco, which I actually camped out at Taco Bell at five in the morning. There was no one else there. <laughs> you told me this story and the workers were really confused. They had no idea that the biscuit taco existed. <laughs> so the Taco Bell breakfast menu has gone through so many different iterations, but today we are crafting the original because it's an important piece of history. I'm very excited because if there's one thing that I love, it's waffles. And I also love tacos. So I mean, this seems very exciting for me. I love jorts. I do, really? <laughs> My That's crazy. Cramping. Can My legs are shaking. <laughs> From Taco Bell, we are getting the eggs, which you see, I didn't even know these were eggs when I saw these in the fridge. We're also using the signature very finely shredded cheddar cheese. Five cups. Is this is what a side of cheese looks like from Taco Bell. You can wow. take it like a shot. So we have to make the actual waffle taco shell ourselves. It was deep fried and heavily artificially flavored. We have to make the sausage patty, the Taco Bell discontinued, and we have to make brown syrup. That sounds exciting to me. It's not maple. <laughs> Nothing came from a tree. Let's bring this Back from the past, bro! Bro! Waffle taco! All right, Trevor, we gotta make the actual waffles for the waffle taco, but first, I want you to make us some Dumoses. <laughs> what is a Dumosa? <laughs> it was actually called Mountain Dew AM. This is a real thing that Taco Bell tried to do to sell more Mountain Dew in the morning, because they were like, look, Mountain Dew sales spiked from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m., and then again at 11.30 p.m. to 2 a.m. We need to hit that like 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Mountain Dew rush. Sad thing is, this sounds really refreshing to me right now, and I'm actually excited for it. Thank I'm gonna start mixing you. our waffle batter. We're just gonna start with a fair amount of flour. We're just eyeballing everything, because again, we're not trying to make the best waffles, so I was making the best waffles. I'd do it kind of souffle style, where you whip the egg whites, but this, we need something floppy so it can adhere to a taco shape inside the fryer. There you go, Josh. Ugh, I love brunch. There. Oh, cheers. Cheers. To life and Taco Bell. And Taco Bell. <laughs> Another. I'm dumping in a bunch of sugar because the waffles were really sweet and that's actually kind of one of the weirder things about this item is they got so much of that fake maple flavor and so much sugar, but then there was just like weird Taco Bell spice. No, I can't, I'm gonna throw up. So at the same time that Taco Bell came out with the waffle taco, Jack in the Box actually came out with a waffle breakfast sandwich. If you're calling this a waffle taco, you could have called Jack in the Box a double-decker waffle tostada breakfast sandwich, right? That's what we're talking about. This ain't a waffle taco, this ain't a taco at all. This is just eggs inside of a waffle. But it's Taco Bell, so they had to call it a taco. I, I pride myself on being really good at making pancakes. However, I don't know anything about waffles. Smell that. Ooh, that's very that's maple. Oh so god, I got some in my actual nose. Uh oh, that's very maple. Rot -row. That's a lot of maple. And go one more egg. One more egg. One more egg. Here you go, Josh. Coming in. Oh, thank you. That was well done. Great teamwork. We have a basketball hoop in the parking lot, and me and Trevor we go out there and we practice our alley oops. Yeah, the cool thing is that the hoops right near our boss's cars, and so sometimes we hit him with the ball, but we don't tell him. All right, we're just gonna mix this together. You got flour on my George Josh. More in there. There it is. That's Ugh. what we're looking for. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah, nice pasty waffle batter. We got our waffle batter. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. Wait. I don't know, dude. There's Josh. we're going fast and what you, why it's just, you know. Who does that? Oh. Dude, look, I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew, bro, okay? I can't think right. I got the shakes. You're like every junior high kid ever. <laughs> Oh. All right, so we're just gonna get some waffle batter in here. We're gonna see how this turns out. Uh, Do I don't you like not to scrape the bottom of the. Trevor, you're you're out of line right now. It's one of those days. It's one of those three Dumosa days. So we're just gonna close this up. We're gonna let this go. 
There we go. Wow. These are nice looking waffles. Are you gonna grab them? Yeah, yeah, bare hand, bare hand, bare hand, bare hand. So it's nice and floppy and pale. You see it's got some wiggle to it. Oh. So we're gonna put it in the deep fryer and then it's gonna fold up and then we're gonna put the eggs and cheese in it. And what else in it? And also brown syrup. And what else in it? And also Mountain Dew Moses. Sausage, John. And also sausage. Trevor, we gotta make the sausage right now. Okay. So we have this pork shoulder right here and it's about half frozen because we need sausage to stay very cold while we're making it. Okay. We're gonna dump a fair amount of sugar into it and a lot of spices that Taco Bell actually used in their sausage. Okay. Why are we standing like that? I told you this is my power stance. I guess I'm here then. All right, I need you to cut that into about one inch cubes. So the reason we want to keep the meat extra cold when we're making sausage is because the cold allows a protein called myosin to develop. Myosin is the protein that makes sausage have that signature snap, and that is created by agitation and cold and also the curing process of salt. How do I know you're not lying to me? What do I gain from lying to you about myosin? This makes you seem smart. I am smart, we play Jeopardy all the time. I scrape. Then I'm actually gonna add some ice chips to the blender just to ensure that it's cold, and also it's gonna emulsify some water into the actual sausage itself. All the movement from the food processor is actually going to heat up the sausage. If you think about the way that friction just adds heat to things, oh. so this is gonna keep it extra See, cold. that's a real thing, unlike myosin. Josh, which fast food chain do you wish had breakfast? I've always had a fantasy. <laughs> This is what I fantasize about at night. I want Chipotle to make breakfast burritos. So I want a, just a two pound brick of breakfast in my face. I wanna walk into Chipotle with my own basket of eggs and just be like, can you just crack this onto your steam table and cook these eggs up for me and put them in my Rito? But they won't do that. Taco Bell is the first restaurant to actually launch a profitable breakfast in year one, which I think is fascinating. And what's extra interesting is people think that McDonald's actually launched all day breakfast in response to how successful Taco Bell's was and also how aggressively Taco Bell advertised against McDonald's to launch their breakfast. Oh yeah, the, the dystopian future. The dystopian future. Dude, we gotta watch this video. I'm adding sage and garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder and a whole lot of black pepper. Then we're gonna pour a lot of fake maple syrup in there and a lot of sugar. My, I can't feel my fingers. Trevor. What? Does fear exist in this dojo? No sensei! Does pain exist in this dojo? No sensei! Does defeat exist in this dojo? No sensei! Strike first, strike hard, no mercy! Sir. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add a lot of sugar to this as well, because there was a lot of sugar in that breakfast sausage. Sweep the leg. Can you imagine people in the 80s, if we were like, Taco Bell got a waffle taco, they'd be like, no way, man. They'd be like, no way, man. No way, man. I think we're good with this amount of pork. Trevor, can you open up that Crisco? Scoop some Crisco in here. So typically you'd use, just be normal about it. So I typically- I got pork on my hands. We'll, I don't wanna- We'll can, wash it. No, just, we won't. Just hand it. Just. <laughs> I guess, wait, I got a spoon in my well, pouch. I got a spoon in, I got a spoon in my pouch. I just. I don't want to touch. No, get in it's there. It's weird. So we can gonna go ahead and just get some uh, some Crisco in there. We want to get a little supplemental fat. Yeah, yeah. Give me what? It's a good technique. Can you put it. You want me to put it back in the pouch? No, not with the Crisco. Yeah, put it back in the pouch. It'll keep everything moving down there. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and buzz this up. Yeah, so it's gonna make an unsettling noise, but all it's doing is grinding the ice chips up. That looks very appetizing. That smells nice though. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it smells like raw pork. All right, that's what we're looking for. This is gonna be our sausage patty. We gotta go ahead and we're actually gonna flatten this out. We're gonna create flat discs and then we're gonna try and mold those discs. That was a discus. I used to throw discus. He gets it. We're bonding. Let's make some sausage discs. I got a pouch full of lube here and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray down our silicone mats right here. We are making the sausage. What we have to do is take the sausage, roll it out on this, cut it into discs and then actually, there it is, and actually curve it in these taco molds so it will fit our curved waffles because to Taco Bell, right, everything is curved, which is not an actual structure of tacos. Taco Bell kind of invented the hard shell taco. You can trace its roots back to the Jaliscan dish, Taco Dorados. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna actually fold that over it. Oh. I love that you're just getting your hands dirty. Ah, you're right, frick. Okay, now I gotta do the one-handed roll. Oh, oh yeah. you're doing it? No, 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 you we mean. both. So Tacos Dorados, right? They're just like a folded corn tortilla that's fried in shallow oil, but then Taco Bell, Glenn Bell, saw this family making them and was like, I can do that, but adapt it to an American audience. So he started pre-frying his taco shells okay. and just these like kind of curved standalone structures and then filling them with the meat, et cetera, and all the lettuce and the cheese. Yeah. So that became what most Americans think of as taco. So that's why everything at Taco Bell is actually just sort of curved. Oh no. Oh, Josh, oh, no, that's you, good, that's you good, that's ripped good. it away. No, no, it's a good meat sheet. It's Trevor, what's your flat. favorite sheet meat? I don't know what sheet meat is, Josh. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and take that silicone mat and kind of curve it between these. So we're just gonna pat this out into very thin molds. Then we can always like shape it. We did terrible, Josh. No, 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 we did pretty good. We did we, pretty good. What if we just put the ball in there? 
Oh, and then shape it. And then shape it. We got a curved sausage. I think we just wait, do this. Wait, wait, wait. I got jam, one more coming jam. in. Oh, no, no, no. no, oh, no. But finger it back. Finger it back. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get yours in there. there. Mold it. But I got to hold it here. I got to come around with this. There had to be an easier way to do this. But is that good enough for you? Have you seen Maybe. the eggs at Taco Bell? Maybe made? that what do you was mean? the way is we lay it flat and then sh make it kind of a... That's one of the things on this show. Shape. Like, we'll make the final dish and then people see me like, that doesn't look as good as the Taco Bell picture. And it's like, yeah, that's not the real item at Taco Bell. That's something that they spent like $10,000 a day for a photo production crew to make. Have you seen the actual item at Taco Bell? You see those eggs? It looks like scrambled mayonnaise. It was like cottage cheese in there. We're trying to recreate the experience of Taco Bell to the exactly. fullest. Exactly. Which means we're doing this. All right, Trevor, we just gotta fly this in the oven. You, the oven's right there. I don't know why you walked over like there. Over here. <laughs> I was Pop those in the microwave. We're gonna put this in the oven. Ah, probably what? What do you think? About about eight, twelve minutes. I touched the hot grate on the oven. That hurt. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. That sausage turned out really well. I'm really proud of that. It's I, got the nice curved shape. It's taco shaped. So I'm gonna go ahead and deep fry these waffles, and you're gonna make the syrup. I have three ingredients here: syrup, <laughs> maple and brown. What other ingredients would you need? That was all that was in Taco Bell's actual syrup packet that they gave you. It's not maple, it's maple flavored breakfast syrup. Dump some corn syrup in there, color it brown, put some maple, that's all we need. So I'm gonna take this waffle and I'm gonna drop it in the oil. I'm gonna use a paint scraper to jam it down and curve it. Josh, it's not a paint scraper, okay? It's used for tempering chocolate. I've been scraping paint off the walls of this when I get nervous for the last year. What, is that what all those marks are? Yeah, that's my corner. All right, so we're dropping it in and we gotta work fast. You gotta jam it down. I'm just gonna pour the rest of the maple in there. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's a lot. You want your car to reek of maple extract. Look at that. Oh, we it's got taco our taco shaped. Taco shaped deep fried waffle boat. Who knew? <laughs> so dumb. It hurts so bad. Here, Trevor, I may need your help. Try and hold this like this. What? You, with, with the, yeah, with the, the tongs. tongs. And then you're, I'm gonna go around you, and then you're gonna drop that in there, and then I'm gonna jam it down. But you need to keep it squeezed at the sides. Okay, you ready? On four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. There had to be an easier way to do this. No, this is the way they do so. it at the Taco Bell. That's why they actually discontinued it, is because it required two people, and they were spending too much money on paint scrapers. Fun fact. It's looking Hold on three, one, two, go. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> it's good! This is why This is why we test. You know, we're gonna go back to the old method. I still don't regret our try. No, because now we can eat that one for snack. While yeah, we dip it in some syrup. I'll waffle in the syrup. Yeah. Wow! Very nice. You having fun? I'm having fun. Maybe we can just use my hands. <laughs> no, no, stop, no. Why'd you drop it in so aggressively? What do you mean? This is good. We got our taco waffles, waffle taco. Yeah. Should we make this? Yeah. What so, is, how does it work? I guess we're just gonna take some curved sausage. Okay. Just gonna nestle that in our curved waffle. Okay. Then you're gonna take some of those eggs. Oh, those are They're cold. We're gonna heat it cold. up. We're gonna heat it up. We're gonna wrap it in foil, let it steam in a bag, and then put some cheese on top of that. The fake maple needs to sweat into the cheese. This, cheese this is, is the accurate. Jarringly dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's so much anti-caking agent on the cheese. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good about this. This is it, man. We did the waffle taco. That's it? <laughs> I never want someone to laugh and say that's it when they see your sausage, but I get it. It doesn't look like much right now. That's why we got to put it in the box. Then it's all going to come together. That's going to make it better? Oh, it's going to make it better. Trevor, we brought this thing back, back from, from the, the past! past. <laughs> romantic Taco Bell breakfast we have set up here. Very excited. Can I pour you a Baja Blast Mosa? I would love that, thank you. Absolutely. Oh, that turns an mm -hmm. awful shade of green. Yes, 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 indeed, indeed, indeed. <laughs> this looks Trevor? like poison. Cheers. Oh, cheers. To life. <laughs> and let's crack open these waffle tacos. Let's see what we're working with. Looks like it did when we made them. <laughs> wow, I'm shocked always by how much this looks like Taco Bell. So I'm gonna go ahead and saturate mine in syrup because this is how I like to eat my waffle tacos when they came out. And then I'm also gonna fire sauce the whole thing. Because it's Taco Bell, you gotta fire sauce it. Trevor, right, let's get into these waffle tacos. Okay. I'm gonna shift my sausage to the tip. I'm gonna just gonna go really big. Do we cheers a waffle taco? That's how I did it when I ate them. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try and get my whole mouth around it. Mmm. <laughs> well, there's something objectively Taco Belly about it. It could be the fact that we dumped fire sauce all over it. The fire sauce is the best part. The weirdest thing to me is how much it eats like a chalupa because yeah. you get the fried shell in the fire <laughs> yeah. sauce. You see this old fry oil. We intentionally did not clean our deep fryer for a month and a half just to recreate the Taco Bell experience. In comparison to other fast food breakfasts, it's on par. You it's know, on par. It's not doing anything special for me, but like I would swap between this and a McMuffin. Put yourself inside your own mouth. 
Is it happy right now? What are the emotions in your mouth? Give me your mouth motions. My mouth emotions say that- Mouth motions, one word. My mouth motions say that, yeah, it's got eggs, it's got waffle, and it's got sausage, and it's all wrapped together in a nice, neat little taco shape. And I'm happy. I actually love this way more than when they actually had the waffle taco. I, I think it was one of those absence makes the heart grow fonder situations yeah. where at the time I didn't appreciate it. Definitely, I'm excited. This is really good. Also, the Dumosa is really the, I mean, I feel so austere. Yeah. Right I got now. another? No, you. Another. <laughs> Chug deers. Oh my God, that came in so hot. Driver, <coughs> should Taco Bell bring the waffle taco back from the past? I'm indifferent. And you're going neutral. Yeah, I'm going neutral because honestly, my life is neither better nor worse for whether or not this exists. This is the best morning I've had in six months. This is making my life right now. I absolutely think Taco Bell needs to bring the waffle taco back. I don't know if it would do anything for their business. I don't know if anyone else would like it but me, but I would camp out again, Taco Bell, for your waffle taco. I would sit outside there at 4.30 in the morning in the tired arms of dusk and dawn for this to come out. No, you wouldn't. I am. <laughs> I would, I absolutely love this. No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't camp out. I have, I have like a job now and I, I get tired very easily. Yeah. I'm all for this. I think Taco Bell needs a re-revamp of their breakfast menu. And I think the waffle taco is just the item to do it. Oh yeah, give me some of the brown. And if you think Taco Bell should bring back the waffle taco, tweet at Taco Bell using hashtag past food. Thank you so much for joining this in the Mythical Kitchen. We got new recipes for you every week. And don't forget to check out a hot dog as a sandwich every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. And as always, hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams of come food. See y'all next time. I'm gonna slurp it. I'm slurping some fire sauce. Make your kitchen more mythical with these stickers and magnets. Now available at mythical.com.